Hi, I am Dr. Sandeep Kattiar. I am a consultant and pulmonologist at Apollo Spectra Hospital, Kanpur. See, there are multiple challenges which which occur for treating multi-drug uh, resistant tuberculosis. First of all, is the duration of treatment. The government tried to bring it down. Even WHO is looking at it to bring down the treatment earlier. It was two years. They tried with a nine nine to eleven month course, but that was again not very successful. Current trials are on to bring it down to six to nine months, but the data is still ongoing. Current duration is one and a half years, which is pretty long with several several drugs. Like you have six to seven drugs in the regimen which you keep on, which you need to take every day. So it becomes very prolonged. Second of all is the toxicity of these drugs. There are multiple side effects. Every drug in itself is a problem. and so tackling tackling these side effect living with acidity and loss of loss of taste are all several 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 problem which keep on occurring because of this then because of the toxicity comes the adherence issue the patients are not able to stick to that long a therapy for their disease they 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 get fed up they get depressed and they don't want to continue taking that treatment second is the loss of another is loss of wages because since since you have an infection you're not very good you don't feel fresh you're not able to go out to work daily there is loss of loss of income in that and lastly is the diagnosis of multi drug resistant tuberculosis matlab multi drug resistant tuberculosis can be an mdr a pre xdr and xdr patient or a totally drug resistant patient so in all these the diagnosis also becomes an issue because initially if nobody gets the resistance testing done because of the high cost see both are both are very different in drug sensitive tuberculosis the government prescribes you 6 months treatment while in the private it may last for anywhere between 6 to 6 to 9 9 9 months there are there are less drugs in it in the drug sensitive one there are only Three to four drugs in it, and in the multi-drug resistant tuberculosis, there are multiple drugs. There are six to seven, seven, seven drugs at least, and the treatment is there for one and a half to two years. So, the so it uh, the longer treatment and the more number of drugs brings up the cost also in the patient. The cost also becomes a factor in treating these patients. the first of all is this stigma which is attached with tuberculosis nobody wants to sit next to a tuberculosis patient in case you tell that you have got tuberculosis in your workplace everybody everybody feels feels very inhibited to come close to you or to talk with you or to share utensils with you even in your, in the house many many times patients feel so depressed because every day they are put into a separate separate room their utensils their clothes everything is set away and rather than getting love and affection during during that time they are pushed into a tight corner which which pushes them to depression also many a times there is also lack of late investigations nobody gets nobody suspects a tuberculosis in case of 15 to 20 days cough they just try to treat initially with antibiotics and that increases the infection also in them the patients also don't want to get an x ray immediately yeah the the patient also does not feel very comfortable in getting an x ray immediately as soon as they go to a general physician and then there's lack of proper infrastructure and healthcare facilities to get cons- to, to get a consultant a consultation with a pulmonologist would be difficult and to consult a general physician would be easier so a general physician will will not look into it as a tuberculosis case initially until the the patient doesn't get improvement from the normal antibiotics So your first or foremost message would be adhere to the treatment. Do not leave it in between. That's just that you feel better. I keep on telling this to the patients every time they visit in the clinic that do adhere to the treatment. Do not feel that initially when you when you're sick you want to take the drugs. But as soon as you get ready, if you feel you don't have tuberculosis anymore and you feel there there are many side effects, they want to cut down on the treatment. So they should stick to the treatment which the doctor has told them. and get regularly sputum your sputum tested that when you become negative getting a sputum negative does not cure you of the disease it is the longer duration of treatment which cures the disease second is 
nutrition which is a very important aspect other than the medication a person needs to take good nutrition and a good healthy diet in the first place people get tuberculosis because of low immunity and poor nutrition status so that is one thing which you should correct and the stigma of stopping milk and not 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 taking high protein diet once you get infection also pushes them into a tight corner and they should continue taking the nutrition and the third is get yourself checked get yourself investigated in case you have got weight loss in case you have a cough which is lasting more than 2 weeks amitabh bachchan the government also launched the program with amitabh bachchan that any cough which is more than 2 weeks you should get yourself tested for it so tb uh, treatment is very simple but it should be stick to adhere to and you can get free of this disease forever so it is not something which will kill you if you if you take proper treatment